Hi, and welcome to this week's Ask the Manager. Once again, I am joined with Jack Wheeler. Jack, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, great. Uh, so we wanted to talk about the Steuben County Health Department. Yeah. Um, let's dive in first a little bit about the coronavirus sure. uh, quarantine. This person's been on quarantine for a few days now. Mm -hmm. What? And the health department kind of helps out. Absolutely. Um, what, how does that? What, how does that work? Does that sure. Work? So, and uh, coronavirus is obviously the the, the new thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the public health department um, and all public health departments across the state uh, that operate, uh, that the counties operate, have important role for monitoring infectious diseases. So, mm -hmm. right now it's uh, coronavirus in this one case, but it could be anything we've in the past and thankfully, knock on wood, very limited instance, but uh, tuberculosis, mm -hmm. measles. Mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Wow. Uh, the public health nurses that we have um, under the supervision of our public health director, um, they all do an awesome job, but the, their job is to really interact with, uh, with the people um, yeah. who are, uh, you know, suspected of potentially having uh, an illness. Um, so they'll have regular contact with them in many cases, go into the home, make sure that they're doing the things that they are supposed to. Yeah. Which is uh, very important. Do they do they wear masks and? No, it depends upon the case. Um, you know, I'm not an expert in yeah. that field, but <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, certainly if someone's symptomatic, you know, the the health and safety of our employees is obviously paramount. So um, certainly, if the case is warranted, uh, they might. Um, but yeah, it, it's a case by case basis. But it's that that interaction to make sure that that folks, if they are under an isolation. Um, uh, not really order, but it, but if they are isolating, that mm -hmm. they're doing the proper things, they're they're staying in, they're not getting contact with the general public. Um, but under New York State law, and again, knock on wood, we haven't seen this with with any coronavirus or any of our prior cases. We've had very good compliance. Mm -hmm. But say a person um, wasn't compliant, um, there are legal actions that could be taken to force a quarantine. Interesting. Um, okay. And that's under New York State law. Again, nothing we want to get into. Yeah. Nothing we've had to get yeah, into. But, you know, and, and the other thing, uh, public health does an awesome job with educating. Um, yeah. and, and it's a balance with these things because, you know, you have to inform the public. You mm -hmm. want to inform the yes. public. But you also uh, don't want to spread fear. So, you know, it's a balance. Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you so thank much. You. That's all the time we have today. Stay tuned with 18 News.